everybody, welcome to Vital Social Yankees Issues and Stuff with your host, the big Yankees fan, Michael LaPielwer. So, today's topic is Brent Leobridge. I don't know if anybody uh, noticed uh, the fact that the Yankees not only lost yesterday, but they were robbed by two hits. You had to see today's daily news, especially the back cover in the sports section. I, I can't believe that Brent Leobridge made the front cover. Unbelievable, folks. Unbelievable. Since the game ended last night, social media about Brent Leobridge's catches ex exploded. Everybody's tweeting about it. He did an unbelievable job. But I'm sorry, folks. This is a baseball game in April. Championships are won in October. If you guys want to throw Brent a parade, go ahead. By all means, I'm not going to stop you. But one particular tweet stood out to me yesterday. It was from Ryan Wagner, who happened to be the co-cohibitor of the MLB fan cave, folks. Now, Ryan is a Baltimore fan, so obviously he likes two teams, the Orioles and any team that beats the Yankees. So Ryan on Twitter wrote last night that Brett Leobridge should be in the MLB Fan Cave Wall of Fame. Are you kidding me? I mean, we're not even a month into baseball and this guy's going to be in your MLB Fan Cave Wall of Fame? I'm sure after this video, you're going to put me in the MLB Fan Cave Wall of Shame. So, I mean, come on now. You know, if this was any other team that Brett made these catches, let's say the Kansas City Royals or the Seattle Mariners, I don't think anybody would have cared. I don't even think I would have made this video. But because this happened to the Yankees and everyone in Chicago is acting like this is the greatest thing that ever happened for the city. So, like I said, folks, it's only April. There's still plenty of baseball to go. So here's my rant. I hope you enjoyed it.